my inner me. She is the goddess, she is the singer, the story, the poet. She is the song, the story, the poem. Hello everybody, I'm just coming in for a moment. I'm I'm uh, editing this long video and uh, I just wanted to say before everything starts from the, the music video to all the live performance, I just talked to you, my beautiful people first. There's a lot going on at this moment and I just needed to talk to you and, tell you about my life if you don't want to listen to that if you don't think it's interesting just skip all of that and go find i don't know where it is i will i will put it in the description uh, what time code it is where the music video starts and all the lives uh, after that so if you don't want to hear about me and my life <laughs> you can skip that i wanted to tell you that so that's that's all in, enjoy or not I love this song. I love this song so much. So enjoy. Bye, beautiful ones. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. This is Mama Mochi. Swadika Dukhun. How is everybody doing? It's Halloween. It is October 31st. It's Halloween. But I'm just me. <laughs> because I don't know but we don't really celebrate Halloween here in the Netherlands so um, we never did it's 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 coming a little bit over now I think from America or something but normally we never did celebrate Halloween so not used to get to dress up for that and um, I did dress myself up as my character that I'm gonna cosplay uh, for Comic-Con in November uh, here in the Netherlands we have the Dutch Comic-Con and I'm gonna play Agra from the Dark Crystal and uh, I, I can I can put my picture in her picture here it's not finished yet it was to try out so uh, but that's uh, November 23 um, so it's 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 just i have three weeks left like like that so <laughs> um but that's cosplay it was not for halloween so but we don't do really halloween here um we do do in february have carnival a carnival and we dress up as clown ghosts whatever you want not cosplaying but just like like more like uh, the halloween cosplay uh halloween dress thingies so but no halloween we don't really celebrate here so uh, and i'm not quite in the mood either i i don't know i it's not my week <laughs> it's not um uh how i say it's not um, Oh, words. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, I'm, I've been trying to sleep a little bit better, but some days I, I sleep six hours. I did seven hours yesterday. Today was six hours, but before that was three hours and four hours. So it just goes a little bit like this. But um, you all know I, I don't work. I have this disease, AS. And... Um, once you know i i have worked after i uh finished the art academy and i was uh in um i don't know how you call it where you where you design um ads and books and posters on the computer and then it goes to the printer i i worked there for a year and a half but i was way I was already not good so it was 90.99 that I had my last work day and after I was 23 when just it just all and it was gone my, my body didn't work anymore so uh, it's been a long time that I've I can't remember a time that I didn't have pain or 
that my body was not working with me so it's for me it's almost my normal uh, it's not normal but almost my normal and um, but after I uh, I got from that work into like how, how do you call it in English let me just find out I don't know how you say it in English we have Google Translate let's see what Google Translate says uh, put it on Dutch it's on Thai Thai to English because what I love to do is is go uh, on Twitter and read all all your 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 comments on the beautiful videos you make of non tanon and I just need to translate because I can't read Thai so that's why it's uh, on Thai to English but um, <laughs> That's not what I... Uh, what did... That's... That's not. It's I. I'm, it says completely declared incapacitated by the doctor, and put on sick leave. <laughs> well, we have this law. It's not a leave. It's a law. When you're really ill and and they can, like in percentage, they can say uh, you're disabled 50% so you can still work 50% you're disabled 70% so you can work 30% you can uh, be disabled 100% you come in this law and you never have to work again I don't know how to explain it but that is not how <laughs> the translation is funny but I, I was in that in that part I was 100% disabled for work and I was in there for years until the the the, the government was like, oh, there were too many people in this in this sick law thingy. I don't know how to explain it. And so I uh, like everybody in the whole Netherlands had to go and be re-evaluated by a, a, a doctor. I don't know this guy. And um, I, I was uh, I was still very tiny I didn't dare to speak up for myself at all at all I was so I went to see that guy and I told him please don't don't be careful with my legs if you because they want to uh, do a full checkup they will just pull your legs in the air and around and you cannot do that with me with my hips and stuff so I said please don't do that otherwise I won't walk and what did he do yes he did that I couldn't get off that that couch he uh, the uh, examination thingy um, I could not even walk it was so painful and then he said to me because I was still it was I, was, I don't know I was 2005 so um, I was still uh, in and out of hospitals trying to figure out what was wrong with me I had myself poked with the with the biggest biggest needles you can just imagine into my uh, muscles and sometimes into my nerves just to see how things were going and working and where the pain was coming from they couldn't find it and so uh, I uh, there were a lot of examinations from an, this doctor to that doctor and that doctor but nobody really could find it um, my blood was drawn they were, uh, some photos were taken but never nobody could find it so I was still in that in that process of finding out so the guy said hmm you don't really have scans that say anything so I'm just gonna give you a clean bill of health of course I was not at all so I got out of this this law where you get into when you um, 
when you're 100% disabled and he just made me 100% healthy. I was not. But he was like, yeah, well, you can complain. It will come it will come to me again and I will I want to do give you you just So there was two options I could do. Was try to get work or I was still married to the papa of uh, Liam and little dude. And he was just barely making enough money, so I stayed home to do Liam. Little dude wasn't born yet. <laughs> so, um, because I was too ill to work already. My, my body didn't want to. But um, uh, I, did, I did have little dude. I'm so happy that I did because if I see little dude and Liam together, they're they're so happy together as brothers. So that's perfect. But um, and my body was already broken down, so why not? <laughs> but um, sometimes I wonder why. Why did I make that decision? I love my children, but why I was already ill? Why was I pressured? I don't remember. It's so hard to remember things, but why did I choose to have children when you're already sick and not knowing what's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know my mindset back then. I was 29 when Liam was born. I was 32, 33. I don't know when little dude was born. So I don't remember my mindset. I don't know, but I'm happy they're here. Um, um, but in 2010, uh, Papa and I uh, separated, not divorced yet, because divorce costs a lot of money. So we did it a different way, uh, legally. Uh, we separated on paper, but but not everything was separate. I don't know how to explain it. So, but um, because we were separated and was not living, so I, they didn't know what to do with me because I was still very ill. I didn't work. I was not in that law for people who are sick, so didn't they didn't know what to do with me? We we tried to figure it out. We we we've been through every thing of the law and things, but they still couldn't figure out because normally, when you go into that law for people who are sick, you can only go there if you have work. But I wasn't working. I didn't have a work so. They didn't know what to do to me, so they put me in the law that's for welfare. But if you go on welfare, that means you can only be in there temporarily because they want to ha help you to get a job. But, but because I'm ill, I can't get a job. Nobody wants me because I don't sleep. I hardly have energy. I have always pain. Um, Today could be a good day, but tomorrow could be an awful day. So there's no, I'm not reliable for anything like that. So um, the, the last town I worked, I lived in, they said, you know, we're just going to put a big cross through your name. We, can, we understand your situation. You're very ill. You have a child with autism. So we just give you like a free card, free, free out of jail card. And so... And I've been in, on on this um, um, welfare law with them for 11 years before I moved here. When I moved here three and a half years ago, I had to start the whole process again. Different town. They didn't want to take my case over because they could have read everything, see my case, everything. They said, no, we don't look at it. You just start over. So you have to... Uh, um, apply for jobs again and I was like oh stop I haven't worked and I can't because of little dude but of myself also I'm way too too sick to do that so um, I had to prove with my uh, now we knew that I have AS so uh, I had to prove with my MRI scans that my neck's fused and where everything is and she gave me like a three year cross through my name those three years are up now. So she wants me to come back in. This person who, who she's the person who works for this, this um, welfare law. 
she decides who gets in there, who gets a free of jail card, who needs to to uh, apply for jobs. She she decides that this woman. And um, I saw her three years ago when I moved here, and like I said, I had to show her my MRI scans, and she said, "I will see you after three years." And I was like, "Well, uh, I will be sick still after three years." And she said, well, you never know, maybe you will be healthy. And I was like, uh, then you don't know what kind of illness I have. Well, she's still like this. Um, I uh, am on a waiting list for a special clinic here who specializes in AS. And there is uh, 65 days of, of waiting. And it's, I've been waiting already for three weeks, but I think it will be somewhere in December when my time will come that I can visit this clinic. And uh, I, I wanted that because the rheumatologist here really doesn't understand my illness, doesn't understand AS. And I want, I want people that do understand AS to look at me because it's it's not my body's not going well i can f i can feel it i know it and it's okay i have peace with it i'll just go with the flow but i just need to know what can i do to keep myself as healthy as possible as long as possible um so uh, i need people who understand my illness so i um so i told this lady i had um uh, conversation with her on Monday and I told her well I know you want me to come in because you want to assess if I can work or not but I really want to ask you can we wait till I have finished all these new things that I'm going to do at this clinic that knows my illness and she was like hmm I don't know I said please because then I can show you if, if I want to, but I can tell you more about how it's going because I can only say it's my body is going backwards. It's just degrading. It's just that. I cannot tell you uh, anything that I'm not a professional. So I need, you know, I, maybe I need new MRI scans. I don't know. I just want to know from them how bad it is <laughs> or maybe how good it is. I don't know how it is how it is right now. So I asked her for a delay of this conversation. Well, she's making it hard for me and she is pressuring me uh, to give up my, my private um, medical information and I'm not happy about that. She's pressuring me and not happy about that. I, I don't think she's not a doctor. She is just a employee who decides if I get my welfare or not do i have to work or not she decides she's not a doctor she doesn't know anything so i'm not happy but i have this angel in my life she's my care manager she knows a lot and i had a talk with her today she was was here this morning and she was like this is not good this is not good and so she's taking over for now and trying to get this lady off my back for now so I can go to the clinic and have myself fully checked out so, so then I know my course of action what I have to do or can do not do um, they will look at my hands my neck my shoulders I'm constantly dizzy because of my diffusion of my neck so I'm constantly I'm just when I walk or too fast I just have to hold on to the wall otherwise I go Ooh. so you know I, I, I told this lady all everything but she doesn't believe me there's this constant um, distrust from her and she, she saw me three years ago like 20 minutes she doesn't know me and if you and, and back then she already has this distrust how can you just distrust people if you don't know them please get to know me please you know c come visit me at home go go see how am i doing but she doesn't want any of that she's not an i don't like her <laughs> so i'm glad i have my care manager 
taking over for now. And but we we've we've looked into it because I don't belong in welfare because I'm way too sick. I will never be able to work. But there is no chance to go from where I am back into the law part of the law where you just 100% disabled from where I am to that that you can't make that step there is nothing in between you cannot and I'm like it's not fair because I don't belong here nobody knows what to do with me so um so I was like maybe we just have to go to the uh councilman here and explain and talk to them and and because this is something this is just like uh, uh something bad in the law they miss a step in the law you know i sure there are more people like me in this situation that don't don't belong here because they have very strict rules here uh, when you're on welfare which you can do and not can do um even you know you all know i went to thailand last december i had to ask them if i could take 20 28 days is the max you can uh, go on for a trip or a holiday per year 28 days so, but I had to ask them back them if I could go to Thailand and if they would have said no I, I wouldn't have come to Thailand they decide about your life and that's something I really can't stand I can't stand that somebody just can control part of my life I'm in control of my life not uh, any in, any people I can't handle that. So I've been mm, not feeling really happy. Um, I'm kind of frustrated about it. Like, you know, I've been fighting for little dude so much so that he has the freedom to be who he is without people constantly wanting things from him. And we finally get that. He's, he's in a good place now. Um, but I fought for that so long. And finally, that's for now all in place. So I was like, okay, let me take a breather. <sighs> but there's no time to breathe. And now I have to stand up again for myself. I have to fight again now for myself. It's like, can you all just leave me alone? I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, having parties. I'm not uh, happy that I can't work. Man, if I could, I would have had a job. I would have worked. I love connecting with people. I would love, maybe I would be the, be a teacher or something. I would love that. But I hardly sleep. I have like this energy. Um, even though sometimes on, on on screen, it looks like I'm, I have a lot of energy, but pff, I fall asleep every time after dinner. I'm so tired. I hardly sleep. I always have pain and I have a good day and I have a lot of bad days. Sometimes I just have to lie down because my neck or my head is hurting so much. People don't see that and that's okay. I don't want you to see that. I don't want you to know that. But don't tell me that, that you think I'm better now. I've been this way since I'm 23. I'm now f almost 51, you know. Do you think that I will be better? Because this disease only goes, it only breaks down. It only makes things worse. This disease, you cannot stop. There's no medicine for it. You can only slow the progress, slow the inflammation. That's the only thing. When the inflammation is as low, it will keep you from not growing all your bones together. But we have flare-ups, it goes th like this all the time. And I think my friend Natalie, who lives in Australia, will agree with me. It goes all, always this. You can have a period, a little bit better, and then it will be again. You have a flare-up, even though you did nothing, you keep you're taking your medicine, you do everything the right way, it will flare up. And those flare-ups are the worst, worst pain, and they make sh they make that your bones grow together. Those flare-ups, you know, and and that you cannot stop it. You can only slow it down. But this lady doesn't know anything about this disease.
but she has now the cards in her hand she thinks she has the cards in her hand that she control me my life say, by saying i think you're healthy enough so you have to find work but there's no i nobody who wants me because i'm not reliable i'm always in pain i always sleep deprived i have less than energy it's more like surviving every day and hoping that i find my bed again today <laughs> like you know i try to make the best of it every day i try to keep my smile on a genuine smile if i don't feel it it's not there i'm not gonna fake anything but don't don't be like that miss please don't be like that you're so uh paranoia like like everybody is like a i felt like a criminal how she treated me like i'm a criminal she did not believe and she, of course i understand there are people who are 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 maybe like that but you don't know me if you go into a conversation with me or with a anybody already thinking that they do something wrong this whole conversation won't work isn't it the best way to think that everybody are good people but you come in and think everybody is a bad people so this conversation doesn't work so i'm yeah i'm just like <sighs> so but my care manager said just let it go for now i'm taking over i'm going to talk to her and see what she what she wants and what i can do and we're going to take it from there so but i'm still <sighs> ah, it's too much it's too much it's too much so last night um like i always do when i'm in the whalian in here when i have some watched something or been on the computer before i go to sleep i have non tanons playlist and i just go scroll down not looking at, scroll down and just click on a video and i got this song and i gotta say i love this song i know the song uh and the i love the piano version of this song so so much i don't know what the title is because it's in thai it's an old one it was when he was still with i am and i saw there is a music video i have not seen the music video so i want to start with that and i found uh, the piano version of course we're going to do that one that's just just the music and then um i saw a few but i've seen those lives i guess because they're all red <laughs> But I don't care. It's such a beautiful song. I really don't know what's about. I don't really care at this moment what's about. It's just a beautiful song. <laughs> I think that's the more important. Ew, you look so young. Uh, so I don't know. This song. You know this. I, yeah, we know this song. And let's just without subtitles i don't know if there is but let's just just enjoy this i need some good music
ฉันรักเธอแล้วเธอใจจะมีรักไม่รักได้อย่างไรฉันฟื้นตัวเองไม่เป็นไม่ดีอยากจะกวนใจอยากถามเธอสักคำหน่อยหากว่าเธอรักใครสักคนเธอฟื้นใจได้หรือเปล่า Oh, it's such a beautiful song. Kind of curious what it's about. Say hi. Say hi to the people. <laughs> I just put I'll put you on pause for a moment. <laughs> That was a jump scare. I jumped. <laughs> oh, that was little dude. Ah, oh, jeez, he, he is um, getting his cosplay ready for uh, for um, Comic Con. He was uh, he had a lab coat. And he dyed it, and he wanted to show me, but he totally forgot. I was I was recording. He was oh, he was so enthusiastic, so cute. <laughs> but I'm totally out of it now. <laughs> oh, I jumped. <laughs> well, it's Halloween. Why not? You know what? I think does it have English? Yes. Shall I just do this again with the English lyrics? Because I I saw the girl crying and banging on the wall and. I'm just curious what this song is about. Let's just start all over again because I'm all out of it. <laughs> He looked really good. Y you know the Muppet Show Beaker. That's the the lab assistant with the orange hair. That's what little dude's gonna cosplay. <laughs> oh God, I'm out of it. <sighs> okay, let's just go. I love this song. It's so beautiful. Can we just make it? A, yes, a little bit louder. I'm really wondering what this is about. And I always know that things will be lost in translation, but just to get the feel of the song, it's how it goes. Nice. Where is he? In a plane, old plane, or something? ฟังได้ไหมหากว่าทิ้งไว้นานไปมันก็ไม่เด็กคนนี้เธออย่าห้ามฉันเลยได้ไหมปล่อยให้เ
ให้ฉันนั้นเป็นไปหยุดรักเธอไม่ได้แล้วเข้าใจทุกอย่างที่เธอบอกนะเข้าใจทุกสิ่งที่เธอกำลังจะอธิบายเข้าใจเสมอแต่จะให้ฉันให้ฉันทำอย่างไรฉันรักเธอแล้วทั้งใจจะกวนใจอยากถามเธอสักคำหน่อยหากว่าเธอรักใครสักคนจะฟื้นใจได้หรือเปล่า That's very hard This is from what was it six years ago? Did it say six years ago? Seven years ago. So he would be like 21 or something. He's 28 now, so he would be like 21. I'm always so surprised that he has so much feelings. He can he can just put really put his soul into this. Ah, oh, you can just feel it, even. 
I could feel I don't I've listened to this song so many times on Spotify so I can just you can just feel the 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 pain in the song also he's so good in in putting put it it putting it in there jeez words uh, and he can also put in the happiness like in in clang te and dopamine you can feel the happiness in there so it's not just only sad things but he can he can put in uh, he can just put in all those feelings in there whether it's a happy song a sad song or a song like i'm not a romantic like uh, yeah he just he's so good in just putting his feelings into into the the song and and i don't i i know some i, I understand a few words um so uh but that doesn't mean i understand the song at all at all but i can feel the song i i think he's so good at that i just ah uh, it amazed me he's so young and be able to sing like that but i think he if i think i think he could have he he did it already when he was seven he just he was born to sing he just knows how to put his feeling in there so wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, is there, is there? Oh, let me see if it's the same. <laughs> I love this piano version so, so much because I love piano. I love, it's my, one of my favorite, favorite instrument. Voice and just piano is just so gorgeous to me, and um, and I know Jeff Sutter has some of some has songs where he just. But that's why I think I love uh, Tors. Uh, I don't know how to say his name. The the guy that plays the piano, and uh, where Jeff was on and Nond and. Uh, a lot of people I know, but I don't remember name Gemini for uh, Dao people I I know. Um, he, uh, Nunu, he was always with him. I haven't seen it yet. Um, but uh, that guy is so good on piano. And then this version, I love this version. I really do. So gorgeous. Is it this guy who plays the piano? ฉันรักเธอแล้วทั้งใจ
จะไม่ให้รักไม่รักได้อย่างไรฉันฟื้นตัวเองไม่เป็นไม่ได้อยากจะกุนใจอยากถามเธอสักคำหน่อยหากรักเธอรักใครสักคนจะฟื้นใจได้หรือเปล่า oh, 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 oh. ฉันรู้ฉันเป็นแค่คนไกลไม่ใกล้ใจเธอเลยฉันรู้ตัวดีถึงฉันบอกรักเธอก็อาจเหมือนเชยบอกเธอว่ารักก็ต้องเจ็บเก็บไว้ยังไงก็ยิ่งเจ็บมองแล้วไม่เห็นจะมีทางไหนโอ้โหแต่จะให้ฉันนี่ฉันทำอย่างไรฉันรักเธอแล้วทั้งใจจะไม่ให้รักไม่รักได้อย่างไรฉันฟื้นตัวเองไม่เป็นไม่ได้อยากจะกวนใจอยากถามเธอสักคำหน่อยหากว่าเธอรักใครสักคนจะฟื้นใจได้หรือเปล่า Oh ho oh, ho oh, ไม่ได้อยากจะกวนใจอยากถามเธอสักคำหน่อยได้ไหมเวลาเธอรักใครเธอห้ามใจได้ไหมต่อไปไม่ไหวเธอจะรักไม่รักมันก็ไม่รู้จะเก็บไว้ในใจมันก็ไม่อยู่ก็เลยต้องถามเธอดูให้รู้ใจโอ้ that piano is so gorgeous So beautiful. Mm. Oh, gorgeous and non singing like this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, he's so good. The emotions, like I said, the emotions. Ah, it's exactly what I need today. <laughs> uh, I love emotional songs. I am a sucker for emotional songs. <laughs> But I have to tell you, clang ta dopamine is ah uh, every morning. I start with that song. It's my happy song. It's my happy place. Ah, uh, it's just an instant boost of dopamine. <laughs> oh, it's such a good song. I love that song so much. Ah. Uh, And I've tr I've been trying to find um, romanized lyrics so I can sing along better than just what I can hear. But the lyrics that I found didn't match what he was singing. So, <laughs> oh, but I love dopamine, uh, especially the live version. I love the live version. It's there's something happy, happy, so much happiness in there that I. Uh, So I have one, two, three, four. No, no, I cannot tell. One, two, three. Yeah, four. Four live versions of the same song. Shall we do just all all four? Who cares? I I. This is just the the one I uh, like last night. I just went through his play. I didn't look. I just pressed somewhere, and it was this song. This live version. And 
I love it also. It's just guitar in him. It's so gorgeous. And what I like the most is I don't know what is how many years ago was this? Six years ago. Uh, what I like uh, is also you could see his breath. You can see his uh, the spit that comes out when you sing. And I I love I love. Yeah, I love the the realness of it. There's there's no polishing. There's just nond guitar. Beautiful. So stripped down. I love it. And then his voice. I just melt. It's like. Oh. <laughs> What a voice. ลังจะอธิบายเข้าใจทุกสิ่งที่เธอกำลังจะอธิบายเข้าใจเสมอแต่จะให้ฉันนี้ฉันทำอย่างไรฉันรักเธอแล้วทั้งใจจะไม่
เดียวจะรู้ก็ทนต่อไปไม่ไหวน้องน้องน้องน้องอยากจะรักไม่รักไม่รู้จะเก็บไว้ในใจมันไม่อยู่ก็เลยต้องถามเธอดูให้รู้ใจอ oh, what is it with his voice? It's so beautiful. It's so wow. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> oh, that was just gorgeous. <sighs> his voice is uh, there is something in his voice that just comes in and attacks my heart. I don't know what it is. He has something special in his voice. I I cannot. Say what it is. I don't know, and maybe we don't need to say what it is. But wow, it's just so gorgeous, and and especially when you have this stripped down, no drums, no bass, just him with guitar or him with piano. It's so stripped down. You can just and especially this live, you can see, you can hear his true voice. There's nothing on it. No. Nothing, just his real voice. Uh, it's so gorgeous. How, 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 how are there people in this world that can do this? Ah, uh, who, who gave you the right to attack my heart like this, Nong Nunt? Ah, <laughs> uh, so gorgeous. What a gorgeous voice. Uh, it's so funny. When I go back to Ghost with Jeb, the live session. And it's every time, it's just the first time he comes in. It's it's, I don't know. It's just now I know it's just that's not. But it's the second time when he comes in, the second part in in the ghost uh, live session. Every time, it still gives me goosebumps. It's like ah, that's the first time I heard that something that 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 something that I can't explain in his voice that attacked me. And, and that's how it started. And I'm totally lost in his voice. His, his voice is so gorgeous to me. It, it, I think it's so, it's more than beautiful. It, it holds so many layers, his voice. But that's his soul singing. It's his heart. It's, it's, he is an old soul. He's an ancient soul. You can just tell. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I believe in past life, so... Uh, wow, beautiful. I don't know what else to say. It's just gorgeous. Whew. Ah, I love this song. It's such a beautiful song. I don't know how old this version is. I don't care. I'm just gonna love this. Can never get enough of this song, so
was gorgeous the last part oh i can't he sings with his soul wow and i have to say i love the hair of uh, i always forget his name i'm so bad at names <laughs> i love the hair <laughs> oh this version is also beautiful Why you zoom out? I don't like it. <laughs> okay, before it goes out, <laughs> I was just thinking it must be a joy as musicians to work with a singer like Nontanond, a singer who really knows how to sing. You know, it must be a joy to to, to play with him and make this beautiful art i think music is art and so healing uh it's so gorgeous uh it helps me it helps me i feel i feel a lot better now <laughs> and music is so something that really can help you heal right what year is this <laughs> Two years ago. 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 Two 
มันมีเพลงเก่าๆหลายเพลงที่วันนี้ผมคิดว่าได้มีโอกาสมาเล่นที่ชงจูเรนเนี่ยอยากจะร้องเพลงเก่าๆเหล่านี้กับทุกคนนะครับเอ่อไหวไหมเราจะร้องด้วยกันเริ่มจากเพลงที่ผมได้ร่วมเขียนเอาไว้ก่อนน้องพุทธใหม่I really don't get bored of this song. It's so beautiful. These lives don't get blocked. Sometimes they do, and if they do, I have to cut them out or something do with it. But last one, and this is also two years ago. Maybe. Turn. 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 Turn
ไม่ช่างน้ำแปลนไปหยุดรักเธอไม่ได้แล้วเข้าใจเข้าใจทุกสิ่งที่เธอกำลังจะอธิบายเข้าใจเสมอไปที่ฉันมีฉันจะยืมไรฉันรักเธอแล้วเป็นใจเธอไม่ให้รักไม่รักใครเยี่ยมไรฉันปืนตัวเองไม่เป็นนะไม่ได้อยากจะคูณใจโอ้ no no yeah รักใครสักคนจะปืนใจใครหรือเปล่าคนเจ็บสุดยอดมากส่งเสียงตัวเองทีได้ไหมครับนี่เป็นกลุ่มคนดูที่ถือว่าร้องเพลงได้ตรงคีย์มากๆในเวลาแบบนี้นะครับเพราะนั้นร้องไปด้วยกันจนจบโชว์เลยว่าฉันมีแรงซ้อนใจแล้วเจ็บยังไงก็ต้องเสียดีกว่าทอเก็บเอาไว้เข้าใจทุกอย่างที่เธอบอกนะเข้าใจทุกสิ่งที่เธอกำลังอธิบายเข้าใจเสมอแต่ที่ฉันนี่ฉันทำตัวไปฉันรักเธอแล้วใจจะไม่ให้รักไม่รักเธออย่างไรฉันปืนตัวเองไม่เป็นไม่ได้อยากจะกวนใจเดียวเธอเธอสักครั้งน้องน้องรักใครสักคนจะปืนใจไป In Phuket, his hometown. Woo. I like the high five where he did. I was probably saw me s o n out, but I was just wondering, was there a, like a screen, plastic screen? But there is 
with the high five, I it confirmed what I was thinking. It's two years ago, so it was still a bit with 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 the the corona. So understandable. I was I was looking at that and was just <laughs> not focusing. <laughs> I was looking more at how did they do this, <laughs> but uh, I don't know which life I like the best. You know, I love the one with the guitar. It's so good. It's so good. And they're all so good. They are all so good. I don't know which to choose. Gorgeous. Uh, what a amazing young man. But we already know that. Mm. Uh, I just love his voice. And then, you know, I... I I fell in love with his voice that that's how it started but then you go deep dive into his music then you meet all of beautiful non fam and then you get to know his personality and and how he thinks how he is and then you see how just not just an amazing singer with a beautiful voice but he's just a beautiful human a beautiful person and that comes out when he sings like I always say he has this beautiful energy when you see his live performances I'm so happy to see all these little clips of yours from non fam of non performing I loved him with the red nose I love <laughs> I saw the clip between Jeb and non where Jeb did his best to to dress up for Halloween and Nunt just had his, his red nose and there's something like Jeff was <laughs> Jeff is Jeff was almost ready to punch him like <laughs> at the end of the whole thing <clears throat> it's like yeah you're not um, <laughs> I, I try to to um, uh, somebody I think was on Facebook wrote it a little bit down what Jeff was saying and Nunt was saying it was so funny <laughs> but I enjoy it all, all please don't ever stop posting those beautiful little clips or sometimes the whole song I'm just enjoying them and I, I'm spamming my friend Pam in America with all these clips because I know she's really busy and I don't think she has time to go and seek out all those clips so every, every clip that I love I just I just link them <laughs> uh, and um, we both like ah oh, it's our boy our boy makes us happy <laughs> oh I love his voice what is what what is it with some voices you just connect and you can let, let them go I have that with Nunt I have that with boys on pop of course uh, and I have that uh, with Jeff, but I also have that with with uh, with with BTS voices from Korea. But I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I I I don't have a. I cannot point out a favorite artist because all of them have such a different voices and different music, so. But at this moment, it's really it's Nunt who has just has a grip of my heart. It's like uh, I I just know that when I don't feel like this week, I just have to listen to him, I, even if it's a sad song or like I said, clang to dopamine. I just love the life session. It just instant happiness. So it just it heals whatever bothering you so thank you for singing i love it <laughs> uh, and thank you all for being here uh, thank you for listening and me throwing out what's happening in my life i just needed to to speak it just speak it i have this tattoo here on my arm that says speak yourself and I find that the hardest thing to do speak myself so I'm I'm learning to speak myself and by speaking myself I, I, I it helps me do it here with you because I feel safe 
to talk to you about my life and my world, what's happening with me and to me. And so I hope you, I hope you don't mind that I do that, but it helps me to learn to speak myself. You know, that's really hard for me to do. So, Kapkunha <laughs> for you all being here. Chan Arakta. Remember, Mama Mochi loves you. You, 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 you. <laughs> I do, I do. Thank you all. Bye-bye, beautiful ones. Bye-bye.